we will start with uh, resetting windows update components let's press windows and X key and choose PowerShell admin we'll click yes on user access control dialog once the PowerShell is running uh, we need to stop three services one is bits background intelligent transfer service second one is Windows update service and the cryptographic service so let's start stopping services will first type net stop bits that is already stopped now we'll stop windows update service we'll wait uh, for the service to get stopped Okay, so the service is stopped. Now the third service, uh, App ID service, it's all already not running or uh, already in the stop state. Now we are going to stop uh, cryptographic service. So it's done. Now we will delete the QMGR asterisk dot DAT file which was created by and then used by bit service so we'll type in this command and press enter so since our bit service wasn't running and it never created a file we couldn't find one but if you execute this command you should be able to uh, get a success message about deleting the file now we'll need to restart the windows and we'll try to do image servicing by DASM now we will open the uh, command prompt with administrative privilege or we can open PowerShell in admin mode so we'll press windows and next key and then we'll start windows PowerShell in admin mode and we'll press yes on USC prompt in here the first command that we that will execute is rename system root software distribution folder okay so we'll run the rename command to rename software distribution folder make sure the windows update service is already stopped uh, once we are done with renaming this uh, software distribution folder it should look like this now we'll rename another one let's type in this command if you get this error let's make sure we have the uh, same directory available here in system 32 so we do have uh, this directory let's try with uh, complete path which is C Windows System 32 and cat root okay it says the access is denied let's go back in here and go with properties and security let's check if we have proper ACL and let's say if the cryptographic service is turned off so the cryptographic service is still running we're gonna stop it once it is done we'll retry it and it's done now let's close it and check if it is renamed yes it is now So command prompt as administrator. We'll type in sc dot xz space as the set bits. Okay, 
Okay, this one is done. Now we'll run another command. Yes, c dot xz space sd set windows window a and then we'll set these parameters like that. Now we go to CD space directory. Yes, directory percentage slash system 32. Once we are here, we will register files um, which are related to bits and Windows update. Let's start registering these files. First of all, register the ETL.EDL. Now we will register URLMON.DLL. I'll just stop here and uh, here's a list of DLL that we need to register. Uh, we need to uh, register all of them one by one as shown on the screen. Um, once it is done, uh, we need to reset WinSock type of memory net sh then so reset now we will need to restart all the services which we stopped um, at the very beginning of this video let's start the services uh, it was Okay, service might have been disabled. We can check it later. I disable it um, to delete some files. Uh, should work fine at your end. Now we'll start cryptographic service. It's done. Now I'm gonna restart my computer. Okay, once your computer is back. Um, try running the DASM and try to service Windows 10 image. If the solution still not work, then we need to repair the DASM using the following guide as shown on the screen. Uh, I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.